And NVIDIA and Accenture shares both getting a boost after expanding their partnership to help companies adopt AI. And it involves creating an NVIDIA business group within Accenture and training 30,000 employees on NVIDIA's AI tools and platform. Well, joining us now exclusively are NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang and Accenture CEO Julie Sweet. Jensen, Julie, great to see you. Julie joining us from across the pond in London even. So um, welcome. Jensen, so let's talk scaling AI adoption here. Why is this partnership important for companies being able to understand the measurable ROI they can expect and helping businesses adopt agents? Yeah, it's great to see you. Uh, hi, Julie. Hey, John. Uh, hi, Jensen. So first of all, the last 10 years, we've been focused on uh, reinventing the computer, getting it ready for uh, generative AI. And what we're going through right now, the first wave of AI is modernizing all of the world's data centers. A trillion dollars worth of data centers being, re, uh, being reimagined and modernized to be prepared for generative AI. And a lot of our focus has been in the cloud, in uh, data centers and such. Uh, what we're looking at now is the beginning of the next wave of AI, the biggest wave of AI. And this is really about uh, companies around the world using AI to be more productive as their digital employees and AI agents and co-pilots and however people describe them, as well as using AI, generative AI, to revolutionize the way they build their products and the products they build. And so we've created two operating systems to be able to do that. Uh, one of them, of course, is large language models with Nemo and NIM and all of our AI factories work. And the other operating system is Omniverse that allows us to represent digital information that is for the world of space time. And these two operating systems are fundamental technologies, of course, uh, but ultimately, in order to drive business impact, we're gonna need a transformer, a transducer, somebody who is the connecting fabric between our enabling technology that we build in AI Foundry and Omniverse and connecting it to customers and their business impact, and that's Accenture. I can't imagine a better partner. Julie and I imagined this partnership about four months ago, and after that, our two engineering teams and research teams uh, swarmed the building of a new platform that Accenture calls AI Refinery that helps customers build AI agents and co-pilots and um, AIs that help them uh, uh, use tools and uh, access proprietary information and to be able to perform tasks and drive productivity. And we're mm -hmm. working together across the, the, the agents space for, for uh, 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 employee uh, co-pilots as well as the metaverse uh, place, uh, omniverse space for uh, digital manufacturing. So we got a really big partnership. In the fast-paced world of the stock market, there's always a new story grabbing headlines. But recently, one statement has echoed louder than the rest. The demand for NVIDIA's revolutionary Blackwell Architecture Graphics Processing Units, or GPUs, is insane. Announced by none other than NVIDIA's charismatic CEO, Jensen Huang, these cutting-edge chips are stirring a frenzy among tech giants like Alphabet, Amazon, and Meta Platforms. So, what's behind this unprecedented demand, and what does it mean for NVIDIA's stock trajectory? Let's delve into the heart of this captivating narrative and explore what could be one of the biggest breakthroughs in tech investments today. Welcome back, everyone, to Investocracy. Give us the, the big picture here for you strategically. Last year, you told us Accenture is going to invest $3 billion over three years in your data and AI practice, that you double your AI talent headcount to 80,000. How much of that 3 billion and 80,000 is going to be focused on the Nvidia stack? Well, NVIDIA Stack is a great example of exactly how we're investing because we're investing to actually help our clients accelerate their use of Gen AI to go faster. And by the way, we're using it at Accenture. So one of the things that um, Jensen and I agreed from the beginning was we need to have Accenture be our own best credential using this technology. And so we have now used it and are deploying it in marketing using the engine of NVIDIA and then seamlessly 
seamlessly integrating across our technology stack and across our other investments in Gen AI to now go to market 20 to 50 percent faster to reduce our cost. And most importantly, we rewired our marketing function to get our campaigns to actually have 35 percent less, less steps. And that's what Jensen talks about. The transformation piece of this is we're not taking technology and just applying it to what we do today. We're rewiring. We're doing the same on the manufacturing site. You probably don't know, John, but we have at Accenture a million square feet of manufacturing space. We manufacture customized automation robotics, and we're using the combination of AI Foundry and Omniverse starting in the design cycle to, turn, to reduce that design cycle on those customized robotic automations by 50%. Mm. We're at the beginning, we're rolling it out, uh, but we're demonstrating that agentic architecture is real, okay. it's scalable, and we can use that engine across the, and leverage the digital cores and the Gen AI investments our clients are already making. Stepping into the captivating story behind NVIDIA's hype, we find ourselves in the intriguing position of understanding what makes Blackwell GPUs such a hot commodity. Introduced by Jensen Huang as a foundational piece for the generative AI era, Blackwell is not just another chip architecture. It's set to deliver up to 2.5 times the performance of its predecessor, the Hopper chips. In an era where rapid advancement often leads to obsolescence within months, NVIDIA is pushing the envelope, making these CPUs more efficient, powerful, and in high demand. The stakes are high and the competition fierce with tech giants scrambling to get their hands on NVIDIA's exclusive GPUs. Oracle's Larry Ellison has underscored the boundless demand for these computing powerhouses as the world transitions to more advanced AI models. With statements like these, it's no wonder that the financial pundits are echoing the sentiment that AI is the future. More specifically, NVIDIA's AI capabilities are. As exhilarating as the narrative around NVIDIA's latest innovation is, let's add a pinch of humor for good measure. Because what's the stock market if not a roller coaster ride of emotions, eh? Imagine this. Betting on NVIDIA is like investing in the only food truck at a music festival. There's an endless line of people clamoring for a taste. But before we go any further, if you want to keep up with NVIDIA's latest updates and keep up with the stock market's latest news, you can follow our Twitter account. We post multiple times daily about the biggest changes and catalysts in the market, so click the follow button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. All right, let's take a look at some companies that are making headlines this morning, and for that, I want to bring in Jenny Horn, co-host of Next Gen Investing. Jenny, it is great to be with you. Always love chatting with you. All right, let's take a look at NVIDIA. We had some commentary out from uh, Jensen Wang yesterday. What's the latest? Yes, good morning, Day, and I will say we have some nice stocks to talk about this morning because we're definitely not news light on, on this Thursday. As NVIDIA CEO, like you mentioned, Jason Wong did say that demand for their company's ne next generation Blackwell GPU platform is, to quote, insane, which is a, a, an adjective I love to hear described for Blackwell. But he did say this on CNBC's Closing Bell Overtime along with the CEO of Accenture to discuss their expanded partnership. During that conversation, though, Wong didn't confirm that Blackwell Blackwell is now in full production and demand is progressing as planned. He did also introduce Blackwell in March as this processor for the generative AI era. So there's been so much hype around this, also so much speculation on like the timeline of deliveries and such, but did confirm Blackwell's in full production. It is as planned and the demand for Blackwell is insane. Everyone wants to have the most and everyone wants to be the first, he said. So NVIDIA is set to commence its sales of Blackwell's products in this fourth quarter. These New processors are expected to deliver around two and a half times the performance of NVIDIA's Hopper chips, which were launched just two years ago. The Blackwell chip platform, though, has been, again, this very highly discussed topic of debate between investors and analysts as last month it faced the scrutiny over delays over the chip's rollout. Then they assured on their earnings call that there would be not major snags in the overall supply chain and then therefore the delivery of these chips. But the concerns over the, these fears did, I mean, the company does expect several billions of dollars of revenue from Blackwell in their fiscal fourth quarter. 
So you can understand why a lot rides on this. And I think that anytime you have a company that is growing at the clip in which NVIDIA has been, I mean, we're seeing like double digit, triple digit percentage growth in, in their data center sales. You have to basically have everything going perfectly. You cannot have any snags in supply chain, any production delays, any hiccups really. So I think that's why there's such a focus on Blackwell. Previously, Wang did admit that the surging demand for Blackwell chips was causing tension and frustrations with some of their customers. They actually did mentioned the way that Taiwan Semi, which is one of their foundry businesses, is so right now basically over capacity, they may have to consider scaling back some of the, their technologies and then go to like a lesser competitor to build out these chips, which I, I just think is fascinating. This whole world is so connected, Diane. So again, I think it really illustrates the importance of supply chain, the way nothing can go wrong at this point. The fervor over NVIDIA's latest architectural marvel shows no signs of cooling down. After some early hiccups that initially delayed Blackwell's production due to minor design flaws, the company managed to pivot adeptly, getting its products into the eager hands of tech industry titans. And the results speak for themselves. NVIDIA's stock price is riding high, up about 150% year-to-date, a testament to the strategic brilliance and market maneuverability of their offerings. Beyond just hardware, NVIDIA's integrated software ecosystem, driven primarily by its CUDA platform, creates an ecosystem where developers flock. This dominance paints a picture where GPUs manufactured by others fall by the wayside, much like a suitor trying to challenge and supplant Cupid on Valentine's Day. Analysts are taking note. With a projected valuation surge to potentially $10 trillion, NVIDIA is not just riding the wave of the AI boom, but is also considered the vanguard of this technological revolution. Financial projections indicate that NVIDIA expects billions in revenue from Blackwell in the forthcoming fiscal quarter, reaching an estimate of $32.5 billion this quarter alone. But before going any further, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make, so if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said, back to the video. So I will say that I know that this has been like the crown jewel of the S&P 500, but I think the cooling has actually presented, I mean, so many opportunities because I know I'm, I'm not any chart master here, but you can just look at the chart and see that we've seen now higher lows. We've been still trending to the upside. I mean, the 200 day moving average has been as steady as any you can see out there to the upside. So I think like technically speaking, this name is intact and these dips have only been if anything, buying opportunities. We're still up 140% on the year. I know we've pulled back about 2% this week, but I think that anytime you see these, these pullbacks in NVIDIA, it's like look no further than the market. It's like one of the most highly correlated names right now to the overall market. So I think that these, these moments of like mass sell-offs when you're as big as NVIDIA and as successful as NVIDIA, it seems like it's a head for the hills moment. I think it could always be seen as an opportunity, hey, a way to buy NVIDIA on sale. Yeah, well, the way it looks right now in the pre-market, it looks like it's going to get that 2% back today. So we'll certainly be watching the price action on NVIDIA today. In a world teeming with uncertainty, NVIDIA emerges not just as a key player, but potentially the MVP of the technological evolution we're witnessing. With breathtaking growth statistics, compelling future forecasts, and a product line that tech-driven companies are scrambling to secure, NVIDIA stock presents an investment opportunity that deserves serious contemplation. Amidst this landscape of accelerating AI initiatives and surging demands, NVIDIA stands strong and resilient. With its forward price-to-earnings ratio at a promising level and the promise of further revolutionary products dawning on the horizon, NVIDIA remains a tantalizing prospect for investors worldwide. More than just a stock, NVIDIA represents a chance to be part of the next great leap in technological advancement. So, dear viewers and fellow market enthusiasts, what are your thoughts on NVIDIA's roaring market journey and the potential it holds? Do you see it as the future of tech investments, or are you steering your portfolio elsewhere? Your opinion, as always, is highly invaluable, so do chime in with your thoughts as we continue this riveting exploration of the stock markets together. And finally, if you would like to know what companies like NVIDIA have been up to these past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there.